Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, my name is Carrie and I'm a flight attendant. sitting here editing this footage and realized that I deleted the introduction footage for this vlog. So I thought I would just pop on here before getting into the video. This vlog is about a four day trip that has some unexpected turn of events. It's a really good video. Um, lots of things happening. You guys will see once we jump into it, but I'm editing the footage too. And I realized I was talking about a product that I wanted to update you guys on and you guys will see in the video I'm using this Tula skincare product. Now I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update because I've been getting lots of mask knee since before using this and this has been a game changer for me. You guys have heard me talk about Tula before. I absolutely love the brand. It is doctor founded, clean yet effective, cruelty free. 100% of the products have probiotic extract and superfoods in them. The probiotics that are in the products restore your natural skin balance. They help nourish your skin and boost its appearance. They are great products. These are my three staples. Their sunscreen. If you guys have not tried this, you are missing out. It is the best hydrating, glowy sunscreen. It doesn't have that smell to it. The sunscreen smell it doesn't leave a white cast. It, it gives you a glow from within and their under eye products do the same. This is cooling and brightening. So as you can see here, it helps depuff because of the cooling effect. It gave me a 15% off discount code. And if you go on their website, they have a great variety of bundles with like travel size products that you can try out the products um, in case you don't wanna buy the full size. They have some great things on there. I definitely recommend checking them out. Get your sunscreen for summer. You have to wear this every day. Do it. It's the best thing you can do for your skin. So I will have all links, discount codes in the description box. Don't forget to check it out. And without further ado, let's get into this vlog. Made it to the hotel. Oh, we are here. Oh my goodness, guys. We are in Atlanta. It is 9.20 at night. I was on call starting today and I was the last one to be called on Wrap A, and if you guys don't remember, Wrap A is when I am on call from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. Did not think I was getting called because I was the last one, and I got called. So we got called for a four-day trip, and I was like, oh boy, four days, that is a very long time, but I really don't mind it. So. Um, I know I already told you guys this earlier in the day, but today we did Philly to Chicago, Chicago to Atlanta, and that is the hardest day that we have. Tomorrow morning we do Atlanta to Miami, and we have 24 hours there. And then the next day we simply just do Miami to DC. I really wish I had a longer overnight there, but it's a short one. And then the next day we just do DC Philly. Could you ask for a better four day trip? I can't think of one. The hardest thing I did today was packing food for a four day trip. Let me show you guys what I crammed in here. If you guys haven't ever watched my e-bags video, I should do an updated one, but I use the e-bag cooler. I've had this for years um, and it is still going strong for me. I did some carrots and hummus. Um, I bought these Tupperware and I'm obsessed. I'll show you the whole set when I have it all out, but reusable bag, carrots and hummus, yum. I have some apple slices, three plain Greek yogurts. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do Weight Watchers and these are zero points on Weight Watchers. Some light sour cream because whenever I eat out, I tend to do Mexican. This is the second container of Tupperware. I had chicken in here and I made like my own little Caesar salad, but I already ate that in flight. And these are metal. So we have ovens on the plane and you can either use tin foil or glass and these are glass um and they just work well you just pop it right in but i just have these little i had my salad dressing in this little container um and then i have some other sauces i have a ton 
of fruit. So this was the first pack that I bought. Um, I'm gonna buy more, like I said. But I'll link them down below, and they're sturdy, nothing leaked, everything was good to go. I love buying these from Trader Joe's. So I buy two of um, these bean and rice burritos. These are about nine points on Weight Watchers, but they really fill me up, and I'll put some of the sour cream on there. And then the black bean and corn enchilada. So I have, that's basically all that I have, but these are like my big meals. I don't usually eat breakfast. Um, I'll have lunch and then a big dinner. I'm having a big lunch and then just a snack for dinner. I just brought some bananas, a few clementines, and then a bag of Cheez-Its and a Fiber One bar. I do not have a long overnight tonight. We leave out tomorrow morning. The van is at 8 and I am basically going to shower iron my clothes. I have to bid for my schedule for next month. I'm buddy bidding with a friend. I'll get to it so I can get a good night's sleep because tomorrow is going to be very eventful. Alright. We got our pajamas. Just a little bougie. cozy that is like I'm at home guys if you did not watch my last video this is what is messed up I hope this is not inappropriate but I talked about these shirts and they are amazing okay so it's an undershirt that has like padding under here and it's not like I sweat a whole bunch but I'm always like very like oh don't lift your arms too much you know um but it has like extra padding under here see that and they're super soft, comfy. You can't even tell that I have them on in my work shirts. A plus. I'm gonna wash my hair. I don't remember the last time I ever washed my hair in a hotel room. Just cause like the water, I, I don't know. Okay, I just got my hair to a good place and I'd like to keep it that way. I did bring my own shampoo and conditioner in case I was feeling crazy, which I am. Of course, me trying to do all the things when I have no time. So I brought these little packets. And I'm trying out the Tula Acne Foam Cleanser. I heard that it will zap acne. So let's see if that works because not about the mask me. All right. Just put that down there. Oh, look at the stream. Very nice. This is why I do not wash my hair. At hotels, the water is very hard, and now my hair just feels like yuck. I'm gonna do a face mask. Um, one of these. Um, I got this in like a boxy charm or something. But they're just nice and jelly. So hydrating. Okay, wow, well, this is messy. I'm just gonna plop this on. Your baby. Oh, this feels real nice. Okay. Give me all the hydration. We are in a hydration station. Bids are in. Very excited to be buddy bidding with my friend Cheyenne. Very excited. Taking off the mask. Do a little dab, dab, dab under here. So I take vitamins, as we all do, but um, I take I bring these little baggies. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I, okay, I'm going to take these, go to bed, and wake up super early. I will see you guys in the morning. I just have my hair wrapped up tight so it stays wet so I can do a blowout in the morning. And I probably just won't do makeup. Um, maybe just some mascara, because when we get there, we're going to wash our face anyway. Um... To go lay in the sun. So I will see you guys very early in the morning. All right, see how my hair is still wet? Here's I wrap it up. So I just bring my Dyson and it comes in this little travel pack. 
we're going to do a blowout and hopefully my hair wants to cooperate. So what I like to do, I'm sorry, I just had a white strip on. All right guys, so I curl my hair super tight so it'll last longer throughout the day. But it is 7.40 right now. My van is at eight. Um, so I'm gonna go downstairs in like 10 minutes. But today is so exciting because my boyfriend is coming down to Miami. He's flying down from Philly and he, was his brother was going down today already to meet his girlfriend who I'm good friends with um we literally all hang out together all the time and she's been down there um for bachelor parties they're gonna be there for the entire week and I was like oh my gosh I got so lucky with this trip because you guys are down there and it's just it's gonna work out great but the problem this this is a problem their hotel is 45 minutes away from mine. Um, we're on opposite ends of South Beach. It's going to be so fun. Um, my boyfriend has never come on one of my layovers. And, you know, after COVID, we're all up to do anything, right? <laughs> We're just trying to find the van. We're just trying to find the van to go to the hotel. Welcome to Miami. Look at this. Oh my goodness. We've made it. You guys, I am so pumped for this layover. I've not had a good layover like this in so long. Flight was easy peasy and me and a crew member are gonna walk to, there's a Publix nearby, and then go to the pool. Um, my boyfriend is on his way here now. I'm gonna change real quick, and then go to the Publix. I didn't even show you guys the hotel room. What am I thinking? And there's no long mirrors to show you guys my OOTD, but I'm just wearing this long maxi dress. I got these earrings from H&M, and I'm loving them, but let me show you the hotel room. So we have this nice little kitchenette when we walk in and the big window, apparently there's a room that there's like a huge corner window. Maybe next time I'll get that. And then there we have it. Pretty standard. I'm ready to get outside guys. Get some sun, get some vitamin D. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's fun to have like the, the beach today. So everyone's like out. I'm going to shower, get ready for dinner, you're going to go out, and I'll let you guys go finish. All right, we're getting ready to head out. Here's my outfit. I probably won't wear this jacket, but I got this dress from Sheen as well. Very cute. This lighting is way better. And we're going to blue something, blue lagoon, blue island. I'm not sure, but we're going to go get dinner and drinks. I'm excited, guys, this layover is so great. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Oh, my You're God. riding shotgun. Fountain blue. The feeling will change. I'm wide awake. Take me away now. Cause I, I won't go down the same oh road. Don't you blame me Yeah, this feeling now God's making me crazy Making me crazy So I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive Alright, we are leaving the Fountain Blue now We're headed to the next restaurant drive, drive. I'm just gonna drive, drive.
the weekend. Yeah, the weekend I did. Come from dinner and we're trying to figure out the air conditioning. The van is not until noon tomorrow and we're gonna go to the beach in the morning. Pray that we figure out the air conditioning. They fixed it already. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. What day is today? Day three of our trip. We are headed out to get coffee. It is so nice out. Look at this. This is just too nice. So we're venturing out. Um, he's headed to the airport, probably with me. We'll see. He has work to do. So, oh my gosh, I kind of want to stay. All right, we're gonna go find a Starbucks. How cute are these little pink cups and bags? Oh my goodness. It's a vibe. So dreamy. I want this one. I love we have a one flight to DC. But our crew member brought Krispy Kreme. I'm so happy. Three hours later. I got reassigned to work a flight to LAX. Reassigned people. Five hour flight. Holy cow, you guys will never believe the day I had. You guys will never guess the day I had. All I know is this feels amazing. Let's talk about this day. Everything was going smooth, everything was going great. We get to the Miami airport, we do our flight, Miami and DCA, we were only supposed to have one flight, one and done, and then we land in DC and I get we get these like one um, alert notifications and it'll usually tell me like whatever gate I have for my next flight or whatever and all of a sudden I get this text alert telling me about a gate change for my next flight DCA to LAX like I just knew and I've never gotten this I've never had this happen before here but I got reassigned. What that means is my original schedule, because I'm on reserve, I'm at disposal to the company and they can kind of send me wherever, right? And so I get reassigned to do, to not be done and go to my layover, but to work the flight DCA to LAX, the five hour and 40 minute flight. I was flying with an LA based crew and apparently their number one, so I was position one up in first class, felt sick, so called out right when they were supposed to be heading to the airport. And apparently DCA does not have a lot of reserves or airport standby people. Um, so they had to pull me from my trip. But as this is happening, my boyfriend is trying to get on a flight from Miami to get to Philly. And when I tell you, I was having him run back and forth between gates because he was, I was just trying to get him out of Miami because everything was negative. I was trying to get him on flights to Orlando, to Raleigh. Um, what else did I try? Chicago, Boston, uh, Charlotte, and he was not making any flights. We finally made it on a late Philly flight that we didn't think he would get on. He made it. Life is good. I wanted to take the red eye home tonight to Philly so I could be there by 7 a.m. and have the whole day to kind of like recoup and 
do things, um, but there were no seats. So I had to figure out my hotel situation because I wasn't assigned a hotel and I finally made it. I'm finally here. I have a 10.55 flight out tomorrow. I'll land in Philly at 7 p.m. And then I go and get my COVID shot the next morning. I'm going to watch this Divergent movie. Um, I didn't even set anything up in my room because I just... I can't be bothered, so I'll see you guys early in the morning. Reserve life, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Bears got hit by a bus. Oof. I ate too many cookies yesterday because I thought I deserved them. <laughs> Alright guys, all dressed and ready to go. One flight, we're not working, dead heading to Philly. I'm gonna go grab some ice to put in my lunchbox and let's get home, let's get out of here. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we made it to the airport. The fifty four A. Thank you, have a good day. adventurous trip one for the books so many different things at play here being reassigned having my boyfriend for my first overnight having a great crew like repositioning it was definitely one for the book so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new do not forget to subscribe I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next vlog Bye.